All right, let's start. Start button. New game. Let us do it. And yes, I am drinking today. Nineteen eighty seven nineteen ninety seven. I graduated high school in ninety seven, just saying. What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Ayabria, age 25, occupation, NYPD officer. Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep her name. We'll just sign that. I'm not going to, I don't need to be Rizlin. <laughs> I don't really need to be, not in this game. I don't know. I just, you're right. I'll try to have more fun. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? <laughs> well, I'm going to say right now, not really. <laughs> I even had my dad get the best seats for us tonight. Oh, God. So lighten up. We're going to have a great time. You'll see. <sighs> no. <laughs> How do I run? Oh. I have a gun on me? Oh, I do. An M80F 84F. I don't remember any of this. How do I run? Please take your seats. The show's about to start. Okay, fine. Let's talk to this guy. Enjoy the show. I wish I could shoot, shoot him. <laughs> Let's get to our seats. They've already started the first act. Already? Yeah, we are running late, Aya. Uh, come on, let's go. come to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil. Guard, grab her and burn her at the stake. Sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward. <laughs> I love the uh the simulated opera singing. Hey Matt Nui.
up. Uh, it's just like causing people to spontaneously combust. Oh shit, people are just falling from the sky, falling from the raptors. <laughs> oh, what a disaster. Well. I don't think only the men, I think. I think it's everybody, but. Aya is special, if I recall. Jesus! Don't wanna. Oh my god! I. I. Get. Go. Get out of here. Now! <laughs> Great. We fucking deserved it. That dude deserved it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> you did. Freeze! NYPD! <laughs> You're the only one who seems to be fine. What? You should be awakening soon. What are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. They're... I don't remember how to play this at all. that power, the more you will become like me. Power? What power? Who are you? Eve. Eve? I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me well. What? I'm not through with you yet. Alright, let me let me fix the sound here. Clearly it's too loud for you guys. Alright, we'll do about uh right about there. Alright, hopefully that's better. Let me know if it's better. Alright. She went this way, right? Oh, there's a chest of some sort, a crate. I will take that medicine. Thank you very much. I know she's down there. Sounds like my backup's arrived. Uh, we're gonna jump down. We're definitely jumping down.
Are you alone? It's dangerous here. You should go. <laughs> she should take her heels off, to be honest. That girl. It couldn't be. Stop spamming the button. Locked. Oh, I don't even need to touch it. I guess we're just going all the way down. I hope we have enough bullets for this. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Crap. Oh, I get to move around. All right. I only have five bullets. <laughs> No, you didn't miss much. You just missed the the beginning movie where um, Aya went to. Oh yeah, we're gonna take all that. Um, where um, Aya went. Uh, she went to a, a, a an opera, and the 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 opera singer, like in the middle of the performance, just decides to <laughs> like combust spontaneously combust the entire audience but the only one who didn't combust was Aya and she's like well you should know you're you're like me and then she runs off so that's all you missed so something Aya is clearly special Jesus did Eve do that to the rat what is going on here <laughs> apparently These people have been all been combusted. Maybe there's something in the lockers. No. Oh, he's still alive. God. Maybe she should just put a bullet in him. I think maybe she should just put a bullet in these guys. You're still alive? Hold on, let me call the paramedics. That's that's true. Very true. Maybe maybe the rat swallowed the bullets. It's very possible. They eat a lot of shit. <laughs> right. Ah! Here, take it. Take everything. It's all on the counter. Don't scare me. I'm with the NYPD. You're the one that scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. 
You know, only staff are allowed in here. There was an incident here. You'll have to evacu evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. See ya. <laughs> what a clown. Where's Gabby for that pun? Oh shit. <laughs> shit. Well, I'm gonna search this room before I go check that out. Ammo. Clearly, they were so whoever one of the actors was packing some. It's probably another rat. I guess the telephones are saves. <laughs> Safe spots. Uh, select slot. We're gonna do one. File saved. Uh oh. <laughs> I was gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot. I didn't take my nose spray today. <laughs> That's probably why I'm sneezing. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, man. Oh, it burns. It burns. <laughs> I really need it, though. It helps keep my ears clear so I don't have my um, ear issues. Oh. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I just needed my nose spray. Oh, sorry about that, guys. It, is, it probably does sound like, <laughs> like I'm snorting. Like I'm snorting something. Oh, all right. There's a box here. Come on. I want to get this box. Medicines. What? Ha! Ha! Help! Help! Oh no. That bird better not bust. Combust. Do not combust the bird. Alright, well, fuck, I'm stuck down here now, huh? How do I get out? Ah, crap. Oh, ouch! Okay. Level up, baby. <laughs> I don't think you can help the verb. I don't think you can. I should totally be taking... Oh, that's... Wait, hold on. That's the jester. In that dress with those heels. All right, let's go find the cops. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Shit, I can barely walk with tennis shoes on anymore. 
fucking arthritis. Yes, I have arthritis <laughs> at my age. Ugh. Sucks. Can I go up here? Run up those stairs. And, and Anixia is... Anixia is freaking the fuck out. I don't know why. I am old. Just just word to the wise. <laughs> word of the wise, if I if you can consider me wise. Um, um once you hit 30, things start hurting. It just happens. It happens. It's life. <laughs> You'll start hurting. And every ten years it gets worse. <laughs> Well, you're lucky. You're lucky. It just, well, it gets worse. It, it, it's like, you'll start noticing every now and then. You're like, my back's just like, fuck you, I'm gonna hurt today. And then it starts hurting. Oh, here we go. Wait, I'm a cop! I'm with the NYPD. What? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to take out my badge. Don't shoot. <laughs> she had it in her bustier. She had it in her bra, actually. I don't know if she's wearing a bustier. <sighs> I wonder if it's that thing called, um, spot spontaneous combustion who knows huh <laughs> you think we'll be on TV <sighs> hope this becomes a TV movie or something let me patch you up oh hey I got healed hey why don't you have any injuries don't ask me that's something I want to know everyone's gotten burned a lot of them probably won't make it yeah, no kidding. It's like, dude, people are dead. <laughs> hey, I've got the same gun. I've got bullets for you if you want. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll take them bullets. Hey, I've got... Yeah. Am I, am I getting these bullets? <laughs> am I really... St Hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> What's P.E.? <laughs> I'm gonna spam! I am totally gonna spam. What do I have in my inventory? Dude! I got 54 bullets! I'm doing this. I'm doing this. <laughs> ah, shit! Sorry, but I'm out. And I can't keep the ones I have in my gun. Why not? Why not? <laughs> All right. All right, so I guess we can get out of here, right? What do I do? How do we get out of here? Nope. All right, so now what do we do? All right. Uh Um all right, I'm patched up. <laughs> She's carrying the crate in her bra, clearly. Mm. Let's see. So, like, do I go back in? <laughs> I don't know. No. How do I get out of this area? Maybe we go this way. No. Why are you guys just standing around? Well, this is awkward. I tried. It's not letting me. Can I just go in the ambulance? Do I have to go back? Do I have to go back down there? I 
I don't remember when I originally played this getting stuck this quick. <laughs> I don't remember that. So I guess we just go back down here. There's, there's gotta be a way through here. What? I thought I... That, what, the, the, what? Come on, can I get, get down to the hole? Oh, I have to go behind the curtain, clearly. Yeah, jump down. There's got to be a way through here, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe I um, need to go back to that door in the back now that I saw. I saw the burnt up dude. Burnt up clown. Because I'm pretty sure I go through like sewers and shit. So going back for all the ammo is probably a good idea. It's locked. Okay, I gotta find a key, I think. Wait, maybe you have to do something with a bird. What's this key? Oh, there you go, the theater key. That's exactly what I needed. bird in here. What is with these birds? Merry, Merry Christmas! Goodbye! Uh-oh. Ah, fuck. the number of shit I can carry in this dress. I mean, that would make sense, but I hope it we don't. More ammo. Alright. I know, the burb couldn't help it. It wasn't, it's, it wasn't the burb's fault. the room? Damn it! Go back in. Alright, so. There. There's gotta be something. Something around here. Ooh, what's this? A diary? November 3rd, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all that medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. Is this Melissa's diary? November 17th, Monday. The cast was announced and Suzanne and I are double cast. I'm gonna play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. November 21st. I think I'm overdoing it. My body is getting hotter than ever for some reason. I'd better take my medicine. 
December 6th. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die. I just want to get through this show. December 10th. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I'd better get, take a lot of medication tonight. Oh boy. December 11th. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God forgive me. December 17th. Looks like I'll be the lead. I'd better take more medication and work it. December 23rd. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert the next day at the park. I'm not feeling well. I'd better shape up if I want to get through this. I'd better take more medication. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have had a drug problem. Another key? Oh, hey, Liam. I haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> yes, and I'm playing some Parasite Eve. I haven't played this in about 20 years. But it is a great game. Alright, so I think we have the key to get out of here now. Oh. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, Twitch, Twitch could be a little better. No, I'm, I, I am, I am Eve. Ah, getting hot. Nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? Nice knowing you guys. I don't think I'm getting out of this fight alive. Once again. The day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived. Alright, so. Oh shit! Oh, run! Run! Oh crap. Oh. Ah, crap. What am I missing? Oh. All right, I think I need to just kind of straight between those beams. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh shit! I I know. How do I get it? Shit. Let's pause. How do I? How do I use? <laughs> I think I died. Oh shit! Is it still loud? Okay. I'm dead. I'm deaded. <laughs> let me um. Let me turn it down a little bit more. There we go. I turned it down a little lot, a little bit. I gotta do all that shit again? Where did I save? Oh man, I saved in that one room, right? <laughs> well, I saved when I got the key. So, I think. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I actually beat this game when I originally played it years ago, but, um... Dang it! I gotta get all the bullets! Alright, that's alright, though. I'll go up and... At least I know where to go now. Plus, before I get go in that room, I'm gonna save. 
probably get this key though. I am gonna go back up. I need them. I need them bullets. <laughs> I need them. I think it's the the ambience I don't think is so bad. It's the um it's the the battle music. Alright, here we go. Ah. 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 Poor Birdo. But I did level. I mean the the, uh, the the music is fantastic. I'll tell you that. But uh it is a little loud. They have some great battle themes, or, or boss themes, actually. Oh, <laughs> I'm just drinking some vodka and seven up. Which I, I'm actually gonna need to go get another drink here soon. So when I go save. I'm gonna refill. Alright, we read that we read this already. <laughs> no, that's not good. Do it. Well, Kadelka's battle music is fantastic too, but this is one of my favorite Shimamura soundtracks. So good. I think my second favorite is Legend of um like uh Legend of Mana, isn't it? I love I love that game too. Ooh. That does sound good. Alright, so... Oh, more fights. So not only do I have to fight, but I have to dodge. This is gonna be a fun stream. Finishing this game. Uh, there we go. Poor bastard. Oh. map. You guys, why don't I have a map? Uh, Alright, let's go look it up. Go, let's go get my bullets first. Alright. I don't know. I don't know if I get one or not. But I still want one. I, I will never not want a map. Ever. So we're gonna go heal up, get a shit ton of bullets, and then we're gonna head back down and save. You're right. Dino Crisis map was horrible. That was that was probably the worst map I've ever had. All right, we saw this already. So sorry, sorry for anybody who might who might have missed that we saw this. All right, so. We're gonna go heal up. And I'm gonna go get a shit ton of bullets. <laughs> get all these bullets. We're getting them all. Ah, damn it. I 
any map that doesn't actually put um put a marker of what my character where my character character is and how they are facing um is not a good map in my book <sighs> all right This curtain. I wonder if I can look at the statue. Who does the statue give me anything? No. No. Oh well. Okay. Alright. So where did we find that one key? Hmm. It wasn't on the clown, was it? Oh yeah, I will. I just need to find the other... Uh, yeah. To the, to the back room. Oh, I have it. Okay, never mind. Oh, I am healed. All right, so I gotta go. Oh, it was in the diary. Okay, nice. All right, so I think I have to go back in. Need to save some that. I think we're fine. All right, save that. All right, so how do I heal? Can I only heal outside of battle? Cause that kind of sucks. All right, well, let me go get my um, my drink. Let me refill my drink, and we're gonna do this last one again. up here. Alright. Um, no, I have actually never even heard of that game before. Alright, I think I can just skip through all this dialogue. I don't think you can skip through the cutscenes, though. No, let up. <laughs> if it is a horror title, I probably would like it. I'll play anything that's horror.
So she's saying once again that the day for my mitochondria has come. But the thing is, that means that mitochondria has been here before. <laughs> Alright, I guess I can't heal this fight. God, this is gonna be bad! Or could I only do it when it says attack? Ah, ah, there we go. You still need time, girl. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Huh? Mitochondria? What are you saying? I don't understand you. What? Where is this? Is that... Is that the little girl I saw? No, it's... That doctor! Wait! Mitochondria? To be free? here for me to loot. Where'd she go? Oh, we're definitely, we're just gonna keep jumping down these holes. Oh yeah, yeah, this has gotta be sewers. I knew we had a sewer area in this game. Oh, crap, it's three of them. I wonder if I can eventually, like, buy bullets. It's gotta be a bullet shot. Or they can just give me or I could just pull the bullets right out of the rats. No, that's not the game. That's just Nixia crying. What? A big ass toad.
Don't get close. <laughs> There's a crate here. Ooh. I'm gonna take that. Drop it. Oh, I have to drop an item? Oh, man. Damn the crate. Oh, we're gonna... No. I can't drop that. I don't need these anymore, though. What? Why is it making me drop... Oh, I can get, I can if I want to. Listen, liquors are scary. They're very, very scary. You're the little girl I saw. There, theater. Are you lost? Wait, little girl, don't go. Did I take it? Man. Okay, I gotta go back. I gotta, gotta go back for that. I don't think I took it. forever since I played this, so I don't remember. I don't really remember barely anything. Ooh, Trevor is here. Spooky Trevor. Oh, man. Ooh, I have a gives me like a wider range. Oh, wait, why did I do that? Alright, I see. I see. You can actually split up. You can split, uh, you can split your stuff. There we go. There you go. Hey, Trevor. Oh, yes. I'm taking all of that. They must be down, down the bottom. <laughs> uh, I died once. I don't know if that's winning. But I did beat the boss. So, there's that. I should have gone back and saved that. So I think there are chests over here. I has where doted. I definitely has where doted. Or is it going around this way? There we go. Get up close to that box. Where, where, oh, come on! Click the box! <laughs> I want what's in it! Yeah, you better get to the bathroom there. All right, here we go. Box. Why can't I get these boxes? I'm walking right over them. Oh my god. All right, maybe I gotta go through that door. Wait, 
right. There was a box right there. <laughs> Shit. Go back. Oh, I need that one. Alright, well, I guess that's it. I still see boxes here that I can't loot. And he's making me really mad. Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're using that. Heal. I can heal myself. Oh, no. I used all of my Parasite Eve powers. Oh, well. Yes. So, like, do I... No. Item increases... your stuff. Increases defense by one. Alright, I'll take it. I am I'm not gonna complain. I still don't remember any of this. So, let me, let me double check. Yeah, I'm wearing it. Man. Get frogs. Oh, hey, my PE powers um, actually restore. A good bit of ammo. That does help. What's this? There's a switch and an emergency phone. We'll use the phone first. Oh, save. We're definitely saving. They are Frogo arms dealers. Alright. How the hell? Did Eve get to the other side? The gate's completely locked. Well, maybe she pressed this button. Eve! Hold it right there! Body. My body's getting hot again. <laughs> Aya's ready to take me on just by herself. Well, even if you did have more people with you, they just burn, right? Everyone else. Everyone. Well, but you. You are. Tell me. Why me? Why am I the only one? We'll find out. Eventually. Even if you don't understand, don't worry. Your mitochondria will. They've always known. I'm going to give you some time. Some time to think and some time to evolve. But the day shall arrive when you will awaken. Oh, well, that's out. 
that's how she's got it. Got and hey, Sam. Oh, boss fight. Boss fight. Well, maybe you can hang out for the boss fight. <laughs> and then you can go to bed. I do love this, this thing. Explosive attack. Good music. God, he's gonna be coming for me. Uh, better heal. Dead, uh, dead, <laughs> dead. Oh, I had to revive. what you want, Eve. Clearly she wants a sister. <laughs> I have a feeling she wants a sister. <laughs> oh my god, that guy looks creepy. We're live in front of Carnegie Hall, where, which has become a scene of complete chaos. Miss, you are the sole survivor of this horrible ordeal, correct? I... Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. Please, just leave me alone. This incident happened to, to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I would like to represent the citizens of the city and interview you exclusively. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
Ugh. Are you crazy? Jim, did you get this on tape? Scram, buddy. Daniel. Sorry, I'm late, Aya. Is, she, is he like the police commissioner or something? <laughs> Aya, you okay? That was really something that happened back there. Yes. Oh, but my date. Heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran out of there like a wuss. <laughs> uh, sorry, your date didn't go well. <laughs> It's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all places, the opera? There is a story. <laughs> so why the opera, huh? Is that the in thing right now? I saw the ad in the paper. I don't know. It just caught my eye. Don't tell me you were on this, onto this case. <laughs> so you finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? Instinct. Daniel, shouldn't you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. He knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things from people who were there. But this one is but this is one hell of an incident, huh? Hey, Aya, you asleep? Oh well, don't blame ya after what you've been through tonight. started with this incident. Six days that would become a nightmare for all. People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. But I will never forget it. It was pure terror. But it was also six days filled with familiar memories. is one accurate depiction of New York City. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Ooh, day two, fusion. Oh yeah, we're saving my progress. And then I gotta go to the bathroom. Because <laughs> I've been drinking, and you guys know what happens when I drink. Alright. Level seven. Alright, now I gotta go. Hey, you okay? You ought to be rusty. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives and no close friends. She was sick off and always. She was sick off and always on some kind of medication. The people at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident, so we have no info, info on her medication. So, what's the spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Oh, come on. What, like, one of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I believe her. After all, I was the only witness to it so far. But if you're going to take on a suspect like that, you'd better ask Baker for a better sidearm. Ooh, better sidearm. I read your report. Still hard to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapons department and give this permit to Torres. He'll help you out. 
Ooh, I got a mod permit. All right. I need to go there. All right, let's go. All right. Although I don't know if that would be considered a sidearm. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? Maybe you can just say that, buddy. Not Daniel, talk to me. I guess not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we gotta go for the sidearm. God, look at this place. Look at this. Look at this place is a fucking mess. There's just shit laying on the floor. Where is. Who, please. We need to hire a maid or something. I need some coffee. Ah, damn it, I can't get any coffee. Alright, come on. Out the door. Out the door. your head last night. It's right downstairs. Alright. Uh, is this it? Oh, uh, what? It? Oh, yeah. This looks like Torres. Alright, come on. Hey there, good looking. Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That baldy? Who knows? So, what will it be? Shotgun? Rocket launcher? Wayne! Yes, sir! Oh, God. <laughs> Idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, okay, sheesh. <laughs> Dude, he isn't even bald. I mean, maybe he's balding, but he's not bald. Torres, I need some equipment. In last night's case, heard it was quite a mess. And as long as cops are relying on guns, criminals will too. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand you a weapon, hand a weapon to a young cop like you. But I hear this isn't your ordinary crook. Guess I can't send you off empty-handed. <laughs> yeah, give me the good stuff, Torres. The good stuff. Here. This is the most powerful gun I can allow you to have. Ooh. Alright. Captain Baker already notified me. Show me your modification permit again. Which gun? Ooh, I can mod my gun. Hmm. Which one do I want to mod up? The one I just got? Let's see. Attack is 35. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're modding up this new one. Bullets. Range. Oh, yeah. All right. Just wait here. All set. But just remember, cops own guns for their protection. Don't let the guns own you. All right, all right! Psst, don't tell Taurus, but you can use your tool to tune up your guns. You can rearrange equipment parameters and added effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you some cool tune-up techniques. Ooh. All right, all right, Wayne. You ain't so bad. Tune up icon. Using the tool item, you can add or remove parameters and added effects on your weapon or armors to create your customized weapon. If you remove an added effect from a weapon or armor, that equipment will disappear. The number of added effects that can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots on that equipment. You can increase the number of slots by getting your equipment modified at the NYPD weapons department. Alright, so I gotta start de disenchanting my weapons. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start breaking them down. You got it? Trust me, 
You can never have too much firepower. Of course. Can't use them without bullets, so you better make sure you always have your club. Just in case, you know? Now, why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Ooh. I have junk? What are you talking about? You got no junk with you right now. Alright. Alright, so let's see. Uh, how do I do... Oh, hold on. Sort. Tune-up weapon and armor. Oh, first of all, I need to equip the right one. So I want to equip... Which one did I just get? This one? Yeah. Alright, so we want to tune up. Nineteen twelve. How do I do this? Okay, right. Oh, that's a rifle. Oh shit. I don't understand this. Oh, distribute bonus points. Oh, I have I have ninety two bonus points. Maybe we'll do some on the vest. How do I do this? Ugh. I might have to do this, like, in between, in between streams. It won't let me do anything. I'll keep that. Alright, I'll figure out the other stuff later. We got we got a half hour to go, so. Take that medicine. Man, look at all this firepower. Oh, a tool. You have an equipment modification permit with you? I don't. Can't tune up your equipment without a permit. No exceptions. Alright, fuck it. I need, I, I think I need to learn how to tune up, but I'll figure it out later. Authorized personnel in the weapons department. Damn it. Hold on, let's equip. We're gonna put on this Kevlar vest. Uh, yeah, that's what I got. Alright. for fuck's sake. Yes, every kid needs a mother. That's not true. I was raised by my father too after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. 
Yeah, well, his mother is still alive. God, I'm in the I'm in the fence locker room. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you better put your vest on too. Can't be too careful. <laughs> At last, it's mine. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? What are you doing in there? <laughs> what are you doing in your locker? A high defense and strong against SA. Very clearly a corrupt cop. Alright, so this to defense 20. Oh, that's not even as good as defense. Screw it. Gives me more energy, but fuck it. Alright, let's go. Yeah, there was one on the side that looked light, though. Alright, so where's the bacon? You were looking for me? Yes, we're having a press conference now, and I want you there, too. Me? That's right. You'll be on the national television as the sole survivor of that incident. I see. But you only answer when I ask you to. The media is just looking for anything to grill us about. They may even, may even turn you into a suspect. So you let me do the talking, understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's go meet the press. Uh, I have a feeling this isn't gonna go good. So you were saying this could be the work of a terrorist. That is what we currently speculate. How about the accounts of officers and firemen that at the scene bursting into flames? That was... That was due to a rare highly flammable chemical which was used to start the fire. Another question. Then how did Detective Brea survive without so much as a minor burn? That is a result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. She... She said that my mitochondria were a mutation. Aya! Your mitochondria? Who said this? Melissa. No, she said she was Eve. But according to a report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body had been taken over by this Eve. 
What's this Eve? Some kind of an alien? People, please. She's very tired, and we are still investigating. That will be all for today. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Fuck. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Aya, I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. That is not the point. Who's going to believe you? You'll only stir up the media and cause people to panic. Sir, she was only... Baker here. Who? What does he want? Well, put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Meat? He'll have to speak up. Yes. What? Yes, all right. Some Japanese scientist, I think. Couldn't understand his English too well. He was raving about some Mido something. Says he's coming over here. Mito? Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing in the cell that makes energy from oxygen? Might have heard about that in school. That's what Eve said. That it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I just read that some researchers at, researchers at the museum wrote a new theory on them. Sir, I'm taking Aya to go talk to this researcher. Go. Better get there before the media. It may explain that phone call, too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> Oops. I'll bring the car around. Meet me at the front. Do I have anything at my desk? Oh yeah, I get to save. I definitely gotta save. I'm not buying it. Alright, alright, whatever. Get out of my way. <laughs> Maybe not. But she is a cop, you know? I want to go upstairs, though. I mean, she's probably used to shitty coffee. Sorry, only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Damn it. Christmas, huh? I guess that's it. That's all Eddie's saying. Natural History. Dr. Hans Klamp will be there. Dr. Klamp? What's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria something, but it seems to cover the whole gen genetic spectrum. 
That's odd. I have a PhD and be working in a museum. Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh, great. We have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know where I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chair the chief's butt? You two joined the voice force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Uh, the researcher? I thought he was Japanese, too. But why can't Japanese researchers be in American museums? I don't know. American Museum of Natural History. Maybe. It's been a while since I visited the museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Loved these things when I was a kid. Hmm, looks like it's closed today. Well, let's see what the security guard can do for us. I am gonna fight dinos. Hey there, how you doing? Doing okay. Pretty cold today, though. How about yourself? Who with the NYPD? We're looking for a Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? Nah, we just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you. It shouldn't take long. <laughs> he kind of looks, he does look a little old. A little old. Place is pretty creepy without any people. I don't like this. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out. Ever. Thanks. Oops. Just hope this place doesn't explode or anything. One one of these days, you know? Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's a policy. Let us keep track of who comes in. Thanks, Aya. Gee, Daniel, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebook's on the counter. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Game's, like, that one's doing. Is that it? Yep. That should be enough, unless you want to leave your number, too. Dude! Dude, no! <laughs> You're ancient! I don't want to leave my number. Ugh. Alright. Well, I'm about to head on out of here. Hope you two get the information you need. Hey, Aya. Over here. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Are we going to find a scientist here? Excuse me. Hello? Hey. Dr. Clamp. Dr. Clamp. Hear you. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? What? This again? What is this? Man, I know him, I think.
What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Y yeah. I'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you... That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. <laughs> you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? The mitochondria possess its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of energy? Or electricity. This not only per pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Then the combustions from last night were... For a human to burn and melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with such so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <laughs> you have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism, organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. The cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore and receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence, dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level, level decreases. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria could mutate 10 times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate 10 times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name. Just incredible. Eve? suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve? Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, 
You better explain what the hell is going on here. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it! <laughs> Alright. So where are we going now? Back to the police department. Back to NYPD. hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. That man, I've seen him before. I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Aya, looks like we got a break in the case. We gotta get back to the station, I am. Hang on, I'm kicking this into turbo. <laughs> yeah, we're going faster. <laughs> yeah, it is. Alright, 17 precincts. <laughs> I knew you guys would enjoy this game. We'll talk to Eddie. Hey, Aya. Any news on the case? We'll be back this creep soon. I hate to bump into him in the street. Uh, alright, Eddie. You keep doing your thing there, buddy. Oh, the car is going fast. Place is going nuts. I wonder what's happened. Boy, better go talk to the chief. Ah, shit. Wrong room. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's that door. Let me check the locker. There might be something good in there. Go back. Come on. This one's later than the other ones. Hang it, fine. <sighs> totally trolled me. Alright, so here we go. Back here. Hey, we have an emergency meeting in the conference room. Really go for a cup of coffee right about now. I hope this shit's not mud in mud here. <laughs> you always hear about like the police station coffee being like mud. Is it downstairs? Oh no, it's gotta be over here. I do need a map of the station. Let's go, folks. Something, something, something. Maybe he says it again. Let's go, folks. We're starting the meeting. Oh, I guess it's in the. Uh, this is conference room. This is the press room. Melissa's solar co solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident, and the concert was canceled. But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. The concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Pen and Lorraine. They're at that concert. What? <laughs> Daniel. Screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. Daniel. Aya. Uh, 
watch his back. Yes, sir. Ooh, another mod permit. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, chief. I I'm going to go upgrade my gun. Hey, I got to go downstairs. Why won't it let me downstairs? Oh, that's not downstairs. <laughs> Sorry, Tiago, I'll be right there. I gotta go talk to Torres. So what am I modding this time? Or do I save it for my shotgun? Because I'm probably gonna get a shotgun eventually. When are you gonna let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Hey, I know I could make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, I get to open up these chests again. More ammo. Yeah, I keep checking down here. Medicine. Ah, that one's open already. But that goes... Wait, what, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright, hold on. Do you have an equipment modification permit with you? Ah, oh, shit. I missed all that stuff. I keep hitting the button too fast. Alright, I do have an equipment modification, but I don't know if I should save it or not. Which gun? Um, is that one the one I'm using? Hmm... Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to save it. Come back with a modification permit if you need to tune up your equipment. Alright, let's talk to this dude, though. Man, I could do it so much better. I could turn that gun into a cannon. Easy. You want to leave something here? Oh, yeah, I get to store equipment. Don't need that. get rid of any of this equipment. I don't need the normal vest. Alright, that's good. Oh shit, something's gonna happen. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> Hell does move so much forward. No. E, want the mess. Looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. Damn! That thing's got my boy involved! She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. of this good trance music you guys i need more of it in my just just hook it into my veins i love it i love it even though the arranged album for this wasn't great but whatever ben daniel stop i gotta get my boy rookie oh no whoa 
something you got some wait sometimes you gotta look before you leap old timer I don't care if I burn I'll go Ben's my son he's the only family I've got damn it I can't do anything leave it to me well but but I'll get them out safe I promise Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. All right. I'm counting on you, Aya. I know. Damn it, I should have saved. I hope there's a payphone around here somewhere. Oh, Central Park. Oh, there is th right there, payphone. Perfect, perfect. Alright, so we're gonna save. 